this video I would like to show you the different uh, healing systems and those books that I have read about so uh, if you are interested in uh, to just to understand more about the healing systems then you may go to the bookstore or uh, find them on the internet so uh, I start with Reiki because uh, well that's where my interest is so I might start with this one the the Reiki manual by um, Penelope Quest uh, this is the very first book that I have bought for when I started my Reiki training and I'm in Hong Kong so there are not many books uh, about Reiki a few years back but it's getting more common these days uh, so uh, this has about um, the uh, Reiki training programs and the theory and also the different uh, levels of uh, Reiki so you have the first level, second level uh, and master level etc etc uh, I will talk about the different levels of uh, the Reiki system especially the Usui uh, Reiki systems um, later on so this is the first book and second one is the second one so you see this is the Chinese uh, translation of the healing power of Reiki a modern master's approach to emotional spiritual and physical wellness by Raven Keys okay so I found this from the uh, Columbia University Department of Surgery webpage and so this is the cover okay so this and the third one okay again it's the Chinese translation the ultimate uh, Reiki touch by Dr. Paula Horan. So I think this is. There are uh, several um, editions of this book, so I'm not sure which edition um, it was uh, uh, translated, but uh, you'll find it in Amazon.com. And this one. The uh, complete guide to see if I can yeah the complete guide to Reiki one uh, okay I find them from Amazon as well so this is the cover if you are interested in uh, to understand the background and the different levels of Reiki that and some histories and also some um, healing experience of these authors then you may go and read about them uh, that's how I started my uh, let's say uh, the, my journey of uh, becoming a Reiki master and there are other two books that I come across that uh, are very handy so that's the uh, the healing handbooks one from uh, Hayashi is a student of uh, Usui Makyo who is the founder of uh, the Usui Reiki system so in these books you may find the, re the reproduce of the, um, the hand positions of healing different parts of your body 
by applying the hands so it assumes that you have already learned Reiki and you know how to control and apply the uh, the Qi or the Qi energy so applying them on uh, different areas of the body to heal uh, different sicknesses and the author of this book uh, I don't know how to pronounce them so if you can read them on the screen okay and the good thing about this book is uh, the a photo appendix page there are um, different hand positions and they are numbered so you can see uh, if not you can see the one is forehead and two is the temples and three is the back of the head etc etc and until like 78 tappings and fingers and uh, 80 is a gansho meditation which means I think it's thanking uh, uh, to thank the hand energy, etc. So, in this section, page 49, uh, you see for different illnesses, you have a combination of different uh, positioning referring back to the appendix. So, you apply. Uh, your Reiki energy in this order so for this specific illness okay so this is good and also this one uh, so the same author with together with the other two people So again, it is about healings. So different masters have, um, say, combined the different knowledges uh, and applying the uh, energy. You do the uh, healings in a slightly different way, but whatever it works, it works. Okay. So this, uh, from my point of view, uh, I I don't quite agree if this which one is works better when. If it works, it works, right? Okay. So these two becomes uh, very good handbooks of uh, healing um, to practice. So, so the Reiki, that's Reiki, Reiki books that I come across, and on top of uh, Usui Reiki, uh, one famous person is. Uh, uh, William Lee Ran, if I see it, yeah. And if you go to, um, I think IARP.org, then you'll find that the the founder of the uh, Reiki Center and the Karuna Reiki. So it's registered. So I cannot use that name, but I I have. I learned it from a friend, uh, so technically I am a master of, uh, I, I can do uh, master attunements to Karuna Reiki, but I didn't join a club, but, so, but I read the books, okay? So, in it you talk about uh, Karuna Reiki, which is, uh, have a different set of symbols and different healing technique. Okay, and quantum touch, which is, is another famous uh, healing systems. Uh, I think it's uh, it doesn't require attunement, but uh, it does healing as well. So, let me show you. Okay, quantum touch. Let's see if it's out of focus. Quantum touch, the power to heal. This is a Chinese version. I had recently bought the, um, the Kindle or the Kindle version. 
of it. So this in English, Quantum Touch 2.0. So this is another healing systems. So again, you see it is slot uh, a lot of theories, and so applying hands to the part of body and sending energy. Okay, so even though it doesn't call it a chi or ki, uh, the concept is you apply energy flow to the the part that is uh, that is ill or not feeling well. Okay, same applying the hands on a part of the body. See, this is applying on the shoulder and the heel. Matrix energetics. Okay, this it says it's the healing with your finger and by applying energy. So you're touching the patient's body and you heal them by applying energies. So let's see if I can. Uh, I have got the the. So this is the Matrix Energetics by Richard Bartlett. Okay. And Therapeutic Touch uh, TT. Okay. So this, so even the, the title says it. The therapeutic touch, how to use your hands to help or to heal. Okay, this is a uh, quite an old book. Uh, so the first edition was 1979. And again, it's applying your hands on the patients. And let me see if I can see the pictures. Okay, applying hands to heal. Applying hands to heal. So they are doing the pretty much the same thing, eh? Okay. So therapeutic touch. Therapeutic touch. Edited by uh, I don't know how to pronounce them, so so read them if you can see it on the screen. And also this therapeutic touch. Okay. So you feel your energies. Okay, it's how you do healing, right? The hands. Doing the hand, okay. So uh, these, to me, these air, uh, these different healing energy systems, whatever you call them, are very similar. You apply the hands to the patients or uh, your clients that uh, who wants to get healed, and the healer or the practitioner have to has already learn how to do it how to apply energy either on on the under the body so okay now you know um, the different uh, energy systems then if you're interested then go to search about them uh, to uh, learn about them the differences and if you uh, want to uh, get into the field of uh, energy healing, then uh, go for them. Or there are any other, uh, many other uh, uh, healing systems that I did not know. So, uh, 
it doesn't mean these are the only only healing systems that are around. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. So in the uh, healing, so what do we do? We have a concept of uh, chakras, which is uh, the Indian concept of energy centers of the body, uh, which I may explain. You see it in the video. It shows the uh, uh, chakras, and this is what I use when I do my teaching. Dantian, uh, Dantian, uh, which is a Chinese system, a uh, Chinese uh, philosophy, or the Chinese, uh, the Chinese think that. Uh, our body has three uh, energy centers and we call it Dan Ten. Okay, and there are in the Indian systems there are seven chakras on the body and uh, uh, three Dan Ten in the Chinese um, uh, concept of body. And the meridians or the Qi channel that's uh, that goes through to your body then uh, I think I'll start with the chakras. So this book, okay. So we are talking about books today. Uh, Wheel of Life by I don't know in English. Okay. So again, in I got a Chinese version, and I'm in, in Hong Kong because it is easier to get and it is cheaper in fact so this is the English version of it I think so go find it so uh, let me see if I can find this uh, picture So, okay, there are seven chakras in the, uh, uh, I'll focus, but anyway, in the body, and each do different things, and uh, I will further explain that uh, in later videos, and okay, I've got this book about energy medicine and uh, energy medicine from Amazon you may find this okay but this is very good reference because uh, uh, so I'm not sure if it has the same order as the English version because I haven't bought it. Uh, so in chapter five, it is about chakra. So, so this is chakra, the seven chakra of the body. So it's the diagram is much nicer. Uh, the seven chakra, the root, the the womb, the solar plexus, heart, throat, uh, third eye, and the crown. And it also has the radians. Let me see if I can find it. I just Okay. which is uh, chapter 4 so it is as a nicer sketch of the uh, radians okay so uh, if you want to learn about it the meridians I think uh, this is a good book to go about And of course, the meridians 
I've got this. Uh, this is in Chinese, totally in Chinese. Uh, it was a um, it is a Japanese book and translated uh, by the Taiwanese. So let me see. If, uh, ah, okay. Has the English. The lung meridians, the large intestine meridians, the stomach material, etc., etc. And the uh, the meridians, right, of the body. So. When we do acupressure, okay. When I, uh, when we do acupressure, acupuncture, um, massage, uh, we are based on the theory of acupoint. So find your acupoint by knowing the meridians. So if it is really, I mean, a must-have for uh, doing acupressure. So, okay, and something special about uh, this video now is I want to talk about how are they related to modern science. Uh, I just draw a big, uh, brief chart about, so I'm not a very good drawer. So let me quickly wrap up. Right, so this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are the chakras. And in Chinese, the Dan Tian system are just coincidentally. Uh, these three points, so these are Dan Tian. So you have the upper Dan Tian, the middle Dan Tian, and the lower Dan Tian. Mm. Interesting, eh? So and I actually graduated as an electronic engineer, so uh, what interests me was in acupuncture, you apply needles on the acupoint, and uh, what interesting is that you must apply metal needles, meaning the needle has to be conductor. See nowadays the material science is so advanced. You may make them from fiber or uh, uh, carbon fiber or any other materials. But nowadays, you we still need conductor, a conductor uh, needles made by uh, made from a conductive material for acupuncture, acupuncture, and to further. Uh, uh, to make it more efficient, there are devices that you connect the the needles for acupuncture with a wiring, so you increase the uh, electricity to apply that applying on the acupoint to make it more efficient. So I then come across with these books, uh, the body electric or the healing is voltage. And the reason why I need to draw this diagram is that uh, in this page, especially in this page, see, this is the human body, it's the human DC field pattern, and you see the this is the lower down 10, and the middle down 10, and the upper down 10, and this goes to your hands. 
Okay. So I'm not sure. And this was first published in uh, 1985. So the body electric. And healing its voltage. And also, this author uh, has done research, I think, about the meridian points and actually where the uh, the electric signals of the body got through and responded to and it looks familiar because it is the chakra system okay so put this way now you can see it and it is the chakra system so so uh, so as an a Tai Chi practitioner and a Reiki master and stretching teacher and also an electronic engineer that I believe the Qi that we are talking about and the healing ability that our body has to, is to do with our the electricity of our body and um, because the acupuncture, you need to apply uh, metal needle and nowadays you also apply uh, microelectricity to the acupuncture and meridians and um, how we do that I will make uh, different videos about it so we go through a lot of books today and if you are interested then uh, go and read about them I uh, like reading books and watching videos. Uh, so that's it. So bye for now.